It then started immediately with the big serve. I felt as if I'd almost dislocated my shoulder in my bid to achieve the record. Look, I've got the record at any rate. I'm keen to see whether someone will go on to beat my record this week. It's already been beaten. No, I'll have to go back again now. No. It was important for me to seek and also find normal human contact, and it's been great having lunch here at the Yurtlyov today. You're often said to have almost mystical qualities in terms of your ability and all you've achieved, but surely you've got weaknesses too. Go on, tell us. There's hardly anyone else here. Yes, that's true. Fear of enclosed spaces or heights, is there anything you're frightened of? Of course, a lot of things frighten me. Spiders, perhaps? Yes, yeah, spiders I can do without. In fact, there are plenty of pests I can do without. Also, when I was at Disney World with my kids, for example, I was glad I only had to go on the little roller coasters and not the big ones, because I'm not sure I could stomach that. Skydiving, bungee jumping, no way, they're not for me. What are the advantages of being so famous and what are the drawbacks? Well, you certainly don't get much of a private life anymore, that's one disadvantage. The nice thing is, of course, that people are always pleased to see you and you receive a lot of support. Many people also come up to me and say how great it is to meet me. That obviously gives you a really nice feeling. Amongst all this stress and in such a surreal world, in the big cities and permanently on the road, amid all the pressure that builds up, it's important to remember why I actually play tennis. We've tried to give people as many opportunities as possible to meet me. The thing I like best about being at the Utlyhof is the fact that people came up to me really spontaneously and were just so pleased that I was here. For those I didn't get a chance to meet, sorry, hopefully next time, and with a bit of luck we can do it again soon.